What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Band here, and we're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time, we're focusing on the game Skyrim obtained via Game Pass. Hit that like button to gain access to your Battle Fury shout. Let me know in the comments which method you prefer. I'm betting it's the built in, but we'll see. And subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now, let's jump into it. What is up, guys? So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Skyrim two different ways. One is using the built in Bethesda modding support, one is manually modding the files. For anybody who has watched my Fallout 4 how to mod video, you pretty much got the basics already. You don't have to continue on. For now, we're going to go ahead and chop some wood real quick. Why are we chopping wood? Because I found a mod that is called the Wood Value Mod or something like that. And that's the mod we're going to be using. So to show the vanilla state, we chop a little lumber. That's four. Let's go find. At least the Odd. Hasn't got... And I have firewood to sell. Good day. So he gives us five gold per piece of wood. All right. Let's go ahead and get modding. There it is. So now that we've saved the game, let's go ahead and quit out. And we're going to quit to desktop because we need to enable our modding folder first. Always, we're going to start with this setup. So now that we're back at the desktop, our step is going to be one, this game supports mods, two, enable mods, got it. Now that we've enabled mods, let's go ahead and go back into the game. We're going to go down to mods, which is going to be firewood, firewood, firewood. There we go, valuable firewood. Go ahead and download it. It's now going to restart the game because we've added a mod to it. If we go to mods now, we should be able to open load order and see the mod there. And there's our mod. Let's go ahead and drop back into the game. Go chop another thing of wood real quick. So four sold for 20 to before. If this mod worked out, four should sell for about 400, I think. Because it said 100 septums per piece of wood. So now we got our four pieces of wood. Let's go ahead and go see the guy. And there's 400 gold for four pieces of wood. All right, so that's how to install using Bethesda's built-in modding support. Now let's go ahead and mod it using non-Bethesda built-in modding support. One second, I need to get the criteria right for us to display the mod versus the unmodded. Okay. Now, since I have two rings, let me go ahead and actually create a random save, new save. So if I go into the peril, I've got my rings here of Miner Sneaking and Silver Garnet. They are different. If I equip one, I can't equip the other. You can only have one ring equipped, right? So now let's go ahead and show you how to manually mod Skyrim. So first we're gonna quit desktop. We saved the game already, so that's not a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and open the mods folder. And normally you'd think you'd put it in the mods. No, it goes in the data folder. You notice these other ESMs here? Those are kind of how the mods work. Like valuable firewood ESM. So next we're gonna come out to Nexus Forge and get the mod we want, which for this one, we're getting to wear multiple rings, which just is the mod that lets you wear multiple rings, but rings are no longer considered objects in the game. So there's kind of a trade off to it, whatever. Anyways, so we've got this now. So let's go ahead and download it, which I've already done. So if I go over to my downloads now, Actually, I just went download, so I don't know why I'm going to this PC. 
Here you see the multiple rings. We're going to go ahead and open that. Rings to hands. We're going to copy that ESM, ESP over, not ESM, ESP. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and start the game right back up. Now, earlier I showed you that we only had one mod in the mod location. We should now have two. I don't know why it likes to put Skyrim in the background, but it does. Anyway, so mods, blah, 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 play with mods at your own risk, to break your game, so on and so forth. You know the drill. Load order, right there is the two hands, rings two hands ESP. Just like I said, so that one did load. Let's go ahead and enable it. It's going to say it needs to reload the game to allow us to use the mod file. Go ahead and continue, continue for my last save. So here we are, let's go back to our items, go back into our apparel. We should have two rings here and voila, we can equip them both. So that is how you manually mod Skyrim. I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD. Don't forget to crouch before you sneak attack that like button, get in the comments on your modding method of choice, and finally hit the subscribe button to get more of my weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand, you all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.